Hello Gemini, this is Renee and welcome back. This reading will be your next 48 hours. What's going to happen in the next 48 hours for Gemini? And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've had trouble with my furnace. Yes, my furnace is dead. So, yeah, if you know what it is to be a homeowner, we've got to go through financing and all that good stuff in order to get things done. So, Gemini, keep me in your prayers, keep me uplifted. And I will keep you uplifted as well and have you in my prayers. Okay, Gemini. What's going on for Gemini in the next 48 hours? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, we have the Tower. Something has got to crumble so that something better will come forward. I feel like this is great change coming through to you, Gemini. Something is going to bring a tower moment. And something is also going to bring some kind of renewal. And I feel like this tower had to fall so that this judgment, this renewed idea, renewed perspective can come into way. You know, and the judgment card is actually very beautiful. The judgment card is like moving away from where you've always been and recreating yourself. You know, recreating your surroundings. So I feel like with this tower, the best card that can come out is the judgment because for the fact that with the tower, towers are an ending. They're an a, abrupt collapse of something. But the judgment is a renewal. It's renewed faith. It's making a final decision. Having a wake-up call. You know, so I feel like this tower, as scary as that may be, the judgment right after that is beautiful energy. Because this is something being renewed in its place. This is new energy, new destinations. And I feel like you're going through this introspection with this Hermit card. You're being led by your healing. You're being led to find the answers, find the wisdom, gain the clarity that you need. You know... And I feel like you are moving in the right direction, Gemini. This tower moment doesn't have to be scary. Because, look at this. You're being led in the right direction. You start with the tower. Look at all these major arcana. The tower, the judgment, the hermit. And you're ending the cycle with the empress. The Empress is very beautiful energy, very attractive, but she's also very abundant. She can manifest anything her heart desires. And I think that's what you're doing, Gemini. Something has ended. Something has ended very abruptly. And you may not have been aware or even prepared for it. But I feel like with this ending, is coming a very beautiful new beginning that's pushing you into your abundance into this new period of you know mothering energy very nurturing very manifesting something beautiful is being manifested in your life gemini and i feel like it's going to bring you into a whole different light a whole different perspective and I feel like with this tower you may worry you may be a little doubtful of your situation you may be even fearing the outcome but I feel like there's no need to worry there's no need to fear you have all the ideas that are pushing you forward we have the knight of swords so I feel like this is ideas bursting forward. This is, with this new beginning, I feel like if this is 
this could be love. This could be anything in your life. Take it where it resonates, uh, Gemini. But I feel like with the Knight of Swords, this is a lifestyle change. This is you pushing forward. But this is also you needing to take a moment to think the situation through instead of being so hasty. Instead of taking quick action, you should really take a moment to look at all the options. Research. What else do we have for Gemini for the next 48 hours? The Strength card. Underneath the Hermit, we have the Strength. So we have all the strength that you need to get through any situation. And I feel like this is also you taking time to show yourself that compassion. Show yourself that love that you need. Uh, this is you taking better care of yourself. Taking care of your situation. Putting yourself first for once, Gemini. And I, I feel like... With this situation, you've kind of, a lot of things have come to light for you. This is you taking action to better your situation. Yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you're protecting something. Or something is being protected for you. This could also be you taking a look at your finances. But this is something that's going to bring you long-term stability, long-term strength. You know, the Four of Pentacles is right under the Empress. So with the Empress, we see that she's manifesting something big. She's manifesting abundance. She's bringing, she's birthing an idea that is going to bring a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, wealth into your life. And I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, you're protecting that. You're holding that close to you. You're holding it very dear to you. You know, this could also be saying that with this Empress card, it's going to bring in abundance that's going to be long lasting. Something that's not going to be something that's only going to be around for a short time. This is something that's going to bring long lasting wealth, long lasting abundance. What else do we have for Gemini? The devil. With the tower and the nine of swords, we have the devil. And of course, that is overthinking. That's you obsessing over some kind of situation. Um, bringing negativity into the situation. So you want to steer away from that. You want to steer away from bringing negativity into this new beginning, into this renewal. Leave the negativity behind. Leave whatever you're obsessing about behind. This could also be new love. Look at this, the lovers. This is you, Gemini. This, the lovers is your card. So this is you finding a lot of satisfaction in this situation. It could also be new love coming your way within the next 48 hours. But with the lovers card, this is a deep love. This is a strong choice. This is, you know, when they say that there's strength in two like minds, that's the lovers. With more than one, there's always strength. And I feel like with the lovers card, you're seeing love. You're seeing anticipation. The, this is your wishes coming true, your full contentment. This is your happiness coming forward with the Nine of Cups. So this love situation is bringing you a lot of fulfillment with the Nine of Cups situation. It's bringing you a lot of contentment. Uh, this is, could also be your wishes coming true. 
you know, and look what we have on the bottom. The Two of Cups. Soulmate energy. So not only do you have the lovers, but you also have the Two of Cups. So definitely if love is coming through, it's coming in very strong, very bold, very daring. This is also you having great strength in this situation. Okay, let's get a Moonology card for this situation. What's coming in for Gemini next 48 hours? The answers you need are coming. All the answers that you need are coming within reach. You're going to get some kind of resolution, Gemini. Don't let pride get in your way. If someone offers you up information that you know will help you or a gift that you know will help you, don't let pride stop you from accepting or receiving your abundance. A new romantic cycle begins, definitely. So there is love coming in. Within the next 48 hours, you may receive an offer of love. Someone's coming in that is going to change your perspective about the situation. It may be someone who's helping you through this tower moment and this renewed ability. But I feel like love is coming in very strongly. At the bottom we have prosperity lies ahead. So definitely some kind of abundance, some kind of gift is coming through for you. Gemini, something that's going to change your perspective, change your outlook, maybe even change your life. Okay, let's take a look. We have forgiveness and understanding. So there may be someone in your life that you need to forgive. You need to get an understanding of where they're coming from. Maybe Walk in their shoes for a moment so that you can get a better understanding. But there's definitely forgiveness here. We also have cut the cords. So there is something that you need to release. Something needs to be released in order for this abundance situation to come through. But we do have harmony and resolution. So with this situation, there is resolution. There is a... Ending in sight, you know, and we have perseverance, so don't give up. You're so close to the finish line, Gemini. I know that I lean, that, I can't even read. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to, definitely. Something that you need to follow through, to see to the very end and change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So there's change coming through for you as well, Gemini. There's big change coming through because we see the Empress, all of these major arcanas. You know, we have the Tower, the Judgment, the Hermit, the Empress. We have the Lovers, the Strength, you know, we have so much change, so many opportunities to take within the next 48 hours. And I feel like that's going to be key for you, is to follow your direction. Follow where spirit is leading you, uh, Gemini. And be faithful. Be faithful in that. Because I feel like where, wherever spirit is leading you, it's leading you into a destination that's going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of change. And, you know, sometimes change can be very good. Sometimes it can be scary with the Nine of Swords. Sometimes you can be in doubt of change. But change is very thought-provoking. And we have prayer. So stay lined up in prayer. Gemini. Spirit wants to let you know that 
you know, you are capable. I'm going to keep you in my prayers as well, Gemini. So keep prayed up. And until the next reading, this is your reading. If it resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And many blessings to you. Love and light.